Okay, I want to go through Guantanamo by the numbers. I think this is a, a, a really, really interesting. This is put out by the ACLU. And it's, uh, I mean, it is literally called Guantanamo by the numbers. And, and what it is, is, well, self-explanatory. The number of men imprisoned at Guantanamo by the Department of Defense since that prison opened on January 11th, 2002. I'm showing things are back up now, by the way. So I'm going to open the call screening software now. Okay. All right. Excuse me. We're, we're having some internet problems here. Uh, the number of, this is, this is, you know, it's amazing. I, I do this show all over the world and it's like in Europe, in Asia, the, the internet software, the internet infrastructure is so good and works so solidly and is so stable and so reliable. And you have all these different countries competing or you have large government subsidies that make these things happen. Here in the United States, we've got a, a duopoly. We've got basically two, three, four large co corporations that control virtually all of the internet uh, activity in the United States, and as a result, our service sucks. Anyhow, number of men imprisoned at Guantanamo by the Department of Defense since that prison opened on January 11, 2002, is 779. As of January of this year, there's still 166 people there from 23 countries. The number, the total number of those 166 people who are actually serving sentences, because they had a Trial, even though it was a military commission trial, three. Three people at Guantanamo because they were convicted of something. The number of people who are still imprisoned at Guantanamo after being cleared for release by the government back in 2009, this is 2013, is 86. 46 is the number of prisoners the U.S. has said it lacks evidence to prosecute, but says are too dangerous to release. Aha, if you have no evidence to prosecute them, how do you know they're too dangerous to release? Oh, we just know. So the conservatives say, well, you know, at least they're down there where it's cheap. You don't want to stick them in the prisons here. That would cost a fortune, right? Well, here's what it costs per year to imprison the 86 men who have been cleared for release. $69 million a year. If you think these guys are dangerous, give them each $600,000 a year and let them resettle in, you know, get them a nice apartment in Bangkok or something. You know, it's like, you know, put them in some place that's a tourist paradise and they'll just, you know, or a big Disney World. You know, buy, get, them a, get them a condo in Disney, outside of Disney World. By the way, if those 86 men who have been cleared for release had been moved into federal prisons, instead of us paying $69 million a year to take care of them, it would have cost $3 million a year. Guantanamo is really expensive. The percentage of people who, have been, of, who are prisoners at Guantanamo who were never Al-Qaeda fighters, according to U.S. government data, 92%. 92% of these people were never actually fighting against us. The Bush administration released 532 of them. The Obama administration has released 72 of them. The youngest prisoner at Guantanamo was 13 years old. The oldest prisoner at Guantanamo was 98 years old. The number of children that we have imprisoned in Guantanamo, this is why this is a stain on this country. The number of children that we have imprisoned at Guantanamo is 21. The number of FBI agents who have each independently reported that they have seen abusive treatment of Guantanamo prisoners. The number of FBI agents who have gone out of their way to say, I have seen abusive treatment of prisoners at Guantanamo, more than 200. The number of prisoners who have been tortured in secret CIA prisons overseas before they came to Guantanamo, at least 26 of them. Nine of them. Keep in mind, only three of the people in Guantanamo have ever been tried and convicted. Nine have committed suicide. 
That were at nine have died in custody, seven of suicide, one from a heart attack, and one from cancer. The youngest to have died by suicide, a fellow by the name of Yasser Talal al Zaharani, who was captured at the age of 16 and committed suicide at the age of 21. Now, where did these people who are in Guantanamo come from? Only 5% of them were captured by American troops. Eighty-six percent of them are there because somebody responded to a bounty offer. This is a quote from the bounty offer. To Pakistani and Afghan villagers to turn someone in. We will provide you with millions of dollars, enough money to take care of your family, your village, your tribe for the rest of your life. So what do they do? They, they turn in the guy who's the village crank, the, the, the guy who, who uh, you know, nobody likes, the guy who was, you know, sleeping with your sister-in-law. I mean, you know, whatever it may be. I mean, they, oh, it's Ralph. He's the guy. Get him. This is incredible. The number of Guantanamo prisoners that have been transferred for prosecution to federal court, one. The number of military prosecutors who have said, we would like to be reassigned, or I am quitting this job because these military con commissions are unjust. That word, unjust. Seven. Seven military prosecutors have said, get me out of here. The prosecutors. Because this is the wrong thing to do. Just since 2011, we've spent $12 million on these military commissions. We have seven convictions by these military con uh, commissions, five of them through plea deals. One in a contested trial. One defendant chose not to participate in his own trial. Four of those convicted have already been transferred home, and three have been released. Barack Obama, President Obama was right. You know, Guantanamo is a stain on America. It is a major stain on America. What are we going to do about that? Don't know. We do need to do something about it, though. Well, actually, don't know. I we need to close Guantanamo. It's really simple. We need to send people back to the countries that will take them. We need to uh, those people that we have any basis to believe are cr criminals. Try them in a criminal court. And frankly, I think we need to be paying reparations to the people who were just there because somebody wanted a bounty crazy that we were offering bounties in the first place. You go to a poor country and say, give me, I'll give you millions. This is the Tom Hartman program. This is how poorly run this so-called war on terror was by the, by the criminals running the Bush administration. It's insane. 